Here it is, a beautiful day in Florida. Day one of my cruise on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Just dropped my luggage off at the Porter and now getting ready to go check in. Elevator roulette, which one's it gonna be? Which one? All right, so I made it through security and here's where you can go get your picture taken. This is a nice terminal and looks like we're already boarding. Wow. Oh, it's Christmas. I'm hoping they still have Christmas decorations up. And so this is the first. Normally every time I come, I have to sit and wait, but it's my lucky day. So I was told I can film going out towards the ship. I just can't film the security post or the security checkpoint. So here it is, always my favorite time going on the gang ramp. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike and I am going on my first cruise of the new year, going on Carnival Mardi Gras. So if you're here to watch that, hey, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thanks for going on this trip with me. Uh, right now is my favorite part, going down the gang ramp and getting ready to walk on the ship. If you've seen my previous videos, you know as soon as I get on, that first view is awesome. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys it as I go on the ship. And this is the Carnival Mardi Gras. Definitely different than the ones I've been on. Now I gotta go find my muster station. So I'm at C6, center stage, which just happens to be right where I'm at. So you need to wrap those two buckles. Make sure that this trap will be also in the here. So I lucked out, they still got Christmas up. Man, I will notice they got bars like you can throw a rock without hitting a bar in this place initially. Oh, look at that. That's another cool Christmas tree. And here I am at my favorite place. It's tradition to go get Guy Fieri as soon as I get on. Here's my Guy Fieri burger. Like I said, it's a tradition. It's the first thing I always do when I get on. This or get a drink. But this is always the first place I eat. All right, so it is 12 o'clock. I've already been on the ship, checked into my muster station, which, lucky for me, it was right over there. So as soon as you walk in, uh, it was right there for me. And we got a, got a Guy Fieri burger, because I love them. And now I'm here in Grand Central Station, uh, floor six. Is the main stage, just people watching. Uh, one thing I thought was interesting is the, you know, Guy Fieri is on the Lido deck. Every other ship I've ever been on a Lido deck has been like nine or 10. Lido deck on this ship is 16. And Guy Fieri was actually on deck 17. So it was quite a hike up there until I could take the stairs. And then now I got a drink, which ginger ale. So I decided to try to do dry January, which kind of hard on a cruise ship, but I'm gonna try. So I have a ginger ale today instead of a drink. So yeah, that's kind of all that's going on. So let's go ahead and people watch together. All right, so my first fun event on uh, Carnival Mardi Gras is to go register or go enter to try to win a free cruise for two. Uh, it's up on the seventh deck. I just checked out the map and my room is actually on the fourth floor, which on this ship is the bottom floor. So call me Jack, if you will. That's a Titanic reference. But a lot of the fun stuff to do is on the sixth and seventh floor. So I'm okay with that. Um, they're supposed to be kind of stormy. So the bottom, I'm hoping with the, having a room on the bottom floor, it won't be as rocky, I won't feel as much, so that's good. 
Um, but I'm excited. There is a lot to do here. There's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants. Uh, since I decided not to drink this cruise, I'm gonna spend more time eating and trying the different restaurants out. So um, I'll be doing that. But right now I'm gonna go up to the seventh deck and enter to win a cruise. So come along for the ride. So this is new to me. They actually have like a center stage. In the old bar, or in the old ships I've been on, this is like the atrium bar. But they got a stage here that they do shows on, and then they actually have a theater as well. So, pretty cool. The ships, obviously, I can already tell it's a lot bigger than the last ones I've been on. A lot to do, more modern. I'm excited. Let's go win that ship now, or win that cruise. All right, so they fooled me. You show up and they want us to come to a show tomorrow uh, talking about shopping in the Caribbean. And so I have to fill this out, come to, to their show tomorrow, and then they'll do the raffle drawing. So whatever, it's free, I'll do it. All right, so here's the casino. We, it's only active when we're sailing in international waters. We're in port right now, so obviously nobody's in here. And I don't think I can film when people are actually playing. Last ship I was on, uh, they told me that was a no-no. So, just, and it doesn't smell like smoke yet. All right, so like usual, every other ship I've been on, stay rooms aren't available until 1.30, but I'm gonna hang out down here. I like this room because it has a couch, as the couch is also a bed. Pull this little strap. Flip it up, and there you go. So the room could actually sleep three comfortably. It's a big moment. Just got my uh, room key. Moment I've been waiting for. I'm a gold card member now. <laughs> I knew I was gonna hit it, so a gold card in uh, Carnival is um, 25 nights of cruising. I'm only at 19, but I knew I was going to hit it on this ship. Did a lot of cruising last year, and hopefully to continue on this year. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to hit diamond or platinum or anything this year, but um, really not a whole lot of perks come with being a gold member versus a red member or even a blue member, to be honest. Really, once you, you start getting the good perks once you hit diamond, which is the next level, and that's 75 nights. And I say good perks because then you get uh, to access the boat earlier. Um, it's faster the fun if you want to pay for it, but as a diamond member, you get the board first. And then when you go on shore excursions or if there's water taxis, you get to go on those first. So that's all. I mean, really no big, uh, benefits to being gold. I, I do think on nights on cruises, five days or longer, you get a free drink on the last night or something like that. And you get a gold pin, um, every cruise, but that's about it. But all right. So now I'm going to go explore some more. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to, I'm going to see what the street seasons is i've never been there before because obviously i've never been on a carnival ship that has it so i'm gonna go check out what street eats is um i don't know if i mentioned it before but instead of drinking i'm going to sample all the food let's go all right so here i am on the lido deck got a nice pool hot tub there's a red frog tiki bar which is normally my favorite so right here is a street eats place it has different uh i guess food truck inspired seafood shack time fries Steam and Dream, and I don't know what this one's called, Mad Sizzle. So today is uh, Turkish beef kebabs and then uh, char siu pork dumplings. I want them both. I'm gonna try them both, why not? And then I'd be remiss if I didn't include the, the time fries today, which is chili cheese dog fries. Not a chili cheese dog type of guy, so. How are you? Thank you. How are you, man? So the bayo is pretty good. I forgot to like film me taking a bite, whatever. It's uh, kind of sweet. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's inside it, but it was good. So if you're on the Mardi Gras, I would check it out. I would get it just to sample it. So there's the tiki bar. And then up there on the second deck, right there is Guy Fieri's.
I'm gonna go see what the marketplace is. So this is the marketplace. I'm assuming this is the buffet. So this is big chicken. I don't know if it, I think this is Shaq's restaurant. Here is another bar. The Tides Bar, appropriately named. And here is the Tides Pool while nobody's in it. Goes all the way to the glass. You can watch the ship sail as uh, you're swimming. Two giant hot tubs. And there is the roller coaster up there, which I will be riding some point during this ship, during this cruise. So we are still in port. Going up to 18. I want to find the jogging track. I have high aspirations to go for a run. This is the ultimate playground. Putt putt. This is a pretty cool putt putt course. The ones on the other ones I've ever been on have uh, just a couple greens. This actually is uh, it's nice. That is the ultimate playground. Here is the running track currently covered in water. Got a couple water slides and bolts. Here is a ropes course. Sports course. Sports court. Uh, it's locked up right now, but they got basketball. Looks like they got some soccer or a little soccer net. I'm assuming they play pickleball here because pickleball is the, the newest craze. And like I said, there's a ropes course. This goes above it. Got some pool tables. Play some foosball. In case you're wondering, one lap or seven laps is one mile. There's the entrance to the ropes course. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the Serenity deck just to check it out. People are still getting on the ship, so nobody's like really got settled and claimed their spot in the Serenity deck and all that. So I'm trying to just show it while there's nobody here. Got like a little Serenity hot tub. Look at that little sunken area. Oh, this pool is cool. I like a little waterfall. Look at that. That is awesome. So this is on the Serenity deck, so there should be no kids in here. Cute little waterfall, the pool. You've got your own bar. The Serenity Bar. Lots of seating. A little sunken area, like I said. I say lots of seating, but this ship I think holds 5,000 people. So this is the front of the ship now. Lots of places. You like the suntan layout. Lots of places for that.
All right, so here is the Serenity Whirlpool. This is on the other side, so there's two of them. Pretty good sized. Adults only, Serenity decks, adults only. I don't know if I said that already. Got a little seating area. It's first come, first serve though. There's no like reserving stuff, so. If you get in the pool or the hot tub, somebody else is gonna get in with you eventually. Can I get the pork butt, please? And then the smoked beef. And then uh, mac and cheese and collard greens. Why not try it all? That's it. Appreciate it. Then. So I decided to go to uh, the Guy Fieri. Uh, during lunchtime, they got a buffet. So I got uh, pork butt and then smoked beef macaroni and cheese, and then collard greens. So pretty excited about it. I'm a full pork fan. Full pork fan. I put the Carolina 6 uh, sauce on it. The lady said that um, the brown sugar, this is most popular. However, I was hoping the Carolina, I was hoping it's gonna be more vinegar based because I like my barbecue sauce vinegar based. So that's why I did the Carolina. Still good though. So everything's really good. Uh, the mac and cheese, it's, it's hard to mess it up. I feel like there's really not a lot of flavor on the mac and cheese, but I'm not gonna complain, right? It's, it's free. All right, so I just went and looked at the Mardi Gras theater. I feel like the ones on my other ships, on the older ships are a little bit bigger. They're a two-story theater. This one, not so much, uh, but still pretty good sized. Here is my favorite bar. I mean, I haven't done this one yet, but. This is the piano bar. Right now it's a muster station, but it's the piano bar. I think this is the first piano bar I've ever been in on a carnival ship that actually had a bar in the piano bar. So that's nice. So this is a pretty nice uh, coffee shop. What's the name? Java Blue Cafe. Oops. Java Blue Cafe is our coffee shop. And I'm on to my second beverage of the day. So I switch it up, I'm getting Sprite.
place to have a great vacation, everybody. I thought it was individual copies. You are literally the one who won Jerry. So I just did the sail away party. Now I'm headed back to my room to get ready. Something I've never done before is I've never eaten at the steakhouse. Um, every time I'd come, you know, I always drink all the time and uh, not drink all the time, but I always go to the buffet because I'm always in a hurry to like see what's going on and like go to the next show, go to the next bar. But this time, because I'm not drinking, I decided I'm gonna spend my money eating at the restaurants and trying them all. So tonight I have uh, reservations at the steakhouse. So I'm gonna try that. And uh, I'll take you guys along for that. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna go uh, back to my room, get ready, and then my reservations are at 6.30, so I have about an hour. But pretty cool ship, a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoy it so far. But it's only day one. It's always the best day, right? Because you get to see everything. Everything's new. But all right, just keeping you guys updated. So let's go back to my room. Beautiful sunset. At least I get to watch the sunset every night. So the steakhouse is one of those places uh, you can't wear shorts, you can't have a t-shirt, anything like that. So threw on a college shirt and just some kind of khaki pants. And I'm going to go to the steakhouse and I'll take you guys along and show you guys what it is. It's my first time being there, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, So this is Fahrenheit 555. It is the steakhouse on Mardi Gras. Okay, so I just ate at uh, Fahrenheit 555, 555, I don't know what it's called. Fahrenheit 555. Uh, it's pretty good, had the lobster bisque um, for my appetizer. And then for my main course, I had surf and turf, which was lobster tail with uh, filet, filet mignon. And then, and then I had uh, for dessert I had cheesecake, really good. Um, it was very good. I never had lobster bisque before, so I will definitely be having it again. Um, obviously not on this ship, but if, if I ever have, ever have a chance to eat it again, I will definitely get it. And uh, yeah, so. That was dinner. Um, I guess that's really all there is to say about that. I mean, the filet mignon was good. The lobster tail was good. It was pretty big. Um, you know, I got videos of it. I didn't really video or want to talk while I was in the restaurant because it was a nicer restaurant and it was pretty crowded, actually. So I didn't want to like pull the camera out and start like filming and talking. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is at nine o'clock, they open the theater. And as I showed you earlier in the video, I don't think the theater is that big. So I'm going to go there about 9. They have a show starting at 9.30. Um, like a rock show. I don't know the name of it offhand. I don't want to be a liar. So let me pull up my app. It is called Rock Revolution. So I'm going to go watch that at 9.30. And then probably stop by the piano bar after that. Oh, cruising ducks. So I do have ducks to hide. I haven't hit any yet, but... I don't know exactly what they are, but they're little ducks. 
And with that note, did you hear that the Carnival or uh, MSC line is banning the practice of hiding cruise ducks? So I'm surprised. I just I just read an article today about it. So here I am going back to the Mardi Gras theater to watch the show. Hopefully I can get a good seat. The show starts at 9.30, they open the doors at 9. Yeah, okay, let's try it again one more time. <coughs> okay, a very good evening, Mardi Gras family. Hi! Hi! That's the energy, and now welcome here at the Mardi Gras Theater for another fantastic show. This time it will be our rock revolution. Energy you give them, the more energy they're going to give back. So I need to know, who's ready for a great show? Yeah! Enjoy! Rock revolution. Bye, everyone. I said bye. Bye! I love you all. All right, so I just got out of the, sh the show, uh, Rock of Ages or something like that. It was pretty good. Um, a, a lot of carnival shows, it, you know, it's just singing and dancing. Uh, the one thing I did like about the MSC that was better was MSC actually had like uh, acrobats and more like visual because they're kind of like a European based company and they target non-English speaking people. But now, 88 Keys, which is the piano bar, is full, so just kind of walking around. So it looks like the bar is standing room only. Actually, there's a line to get in. I'll know that next time. Right, so that ends my night after going to the show went to 88 keys and there was that standing room only uh, came back a few minutes later there were still no seats open so then i walked down to the grand central station there was nobody playing on the the main stage there which the grand central station is like the atrium bar 
if you're used to the older carnival ships. And then right past that, there was a something brass, a, a brass bar. And they had uh, a brass band playing, a little three-piece band. So I watched them for a couple minutes. And then I decided just to come back to my room. It's 10.30 at night, so I'm just going to call it a night. So tomorrow's a sea day. I don't really know what's going on um, as far as all that goes. I know there's brunch. Um, there's a couple other restaurants I want to eat at. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them tomorrow or not. But I do want to try some other places. They got some trivia going on. Um, what else? I think I might go to the gym. I don't know. I might go for a run. Just trying to like do stuff that I've never done on a cruise ship before. So, and if I can stay healthy and whatnot, um, I managed to make a day one without drinking. So that's a win for me. But if you made it this far, hey, I appreciate it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I guess like this video if you enjoy hanging out with me. But the big thing is, I really appreciate you guys watching it. You can watch anybody else, but you choose to watch me. And on that note, I'm going to go to bed. So hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.